Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a cover image or a thumbnail to your YouTube videos if you're uploading from your PlayStation 5. And there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. The first way I'm gonna show you is just through the capture gallery. So if I hold down the share button and I go to my capture gallery right now, or the media gallery here on the PS5, you can see I have a bunch of different thumbnails on my videos already. So this one literally just says, uh, make thumbnail. And it's a picture of me playing Call of Duty. And I did this through Share Factory. It gives you a lot of different options um, for the text and the background for screenshots. And you can see I have an outline on there. But if I scroll on down, uh, maybe you don't want to edit anything in Share Factory and you just want to upload it right away. Well, I have some more clips in here where I just made a thumbnail or a cover image and then I uploaded it. So if I scroll on through here, let's see if I can find it. The gun's gonna be rotated to the side and there's gonna be like some faint text onto it. Well, I can't find it. So I'll just go ahead and do it live for you guys right now. So I can pick any kind of like three minute video or 30 second video, whatever I wanna to upload to YouTube. And then I can press options on it, go to edit. Then I wanna go over to cover image right here. Now you need to select the cover image. So to do this, you have to go through the timeline and find a spot where you like. So let's just go through my timeline and see if there's anything that's cool. So maybe I can do this guy like doing a power bomb with his butt and then press X right here and then go to save. And then it's gonna bring me to this screen where I can crop it. Let's go to crop first. So let's zoom in. All right. I'm going to zoom in on the area I like right there. Then I'm going to go to position next. Move it over to the left side a little bit. Yep, that looks good. And then we do have this rotate if we really want to add a rotate. I don't think I want to add a rotate, but it's an option. So get all those. Let's back out one more time. And then we got add text. Oh, now it looks like I didn't save it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this real quick again. Position it to the left then go to save. All right. Now I can add some text to it. So let's add, let's just make my normal kind of thumbnail layout where I do white on top and two yellow ones. Um, let's do make thumbnail. Make. So if you didn't know this already, you can use the motion control on your PS5 to make a thumbnail or move on the text, uh, the keyboard. If you go down here, it says press L3 and R3 on, and then you just select it with X. All right, I have that in. Now let's go to format and choose the font. Let's go strong. Yeah, that's fine. Then we can choose color, white is fine, and then scale. So we can make this bigger, make. And then we can position it. All right, that's fine. Now I can't really read that all, so maybe I'll change the color. Let's do red. All right, let's do yellow. Ah, oh, let's do red. All right, good. Then save it. Then I'm gonna add another text. This time I'm just gonna do thumb. I already have it pre-typed in here. Now I can go back over to color and I can change the color this time. Let's do scale. All right, make this a little bit bigger. Position it right here and make thumb. And then save it. And then I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to type in nail. All right, it's already pre in there. Do scale, make this bigger. All right, position it on the bottom here. Make thumbnail. All right. Now, the only thing that I don't like about it is there's no outline. If there was an outline, I would like it a lot. Then let's go to save. Now we can do done. Now I can back out and go to done right here. Let's go to done. And boom, there it is. I made a thumbnail for my video clip. Now if I go to share, press option, we go to share, and then I go to YouTube. You can see on the top here, which says video clip, it says make thumbnail. That's my thumbnail. Very easy. So we can back out now, and I'll show you the other way to do this. And this one will be a little bit quicker just because I have everything in there. So 
Here's my other way. Uh, find your video clip. So it could be the same video clip. Press options on it. And, uh, let's go to edit and share factory studio. So put it into here somewhere and start up a new project. And here's my recent projects. Eh, it doesn't matter whatever I put in here. All right, so actually, what am I doing? This is my, uh, let's go exit without saving. I want to go on over to the video editor. And then make a new project down here. And choose something. All right, so choose the video clip that you were working on before. Now let's choose something a little bit smaller so it doesn't take a long time to render. So here's 22 seconds. All right, so you can delete all the stuff that came before it. So just go to delete. Delete. Otherwise, you just go to split clip and you delete. So hold on here a second. Let's delete all this stuff. And here's just my raw video. Now, the top here, what you can do is you can go to add screenshot. And you can add a screenshot that you um, edit it in the photo editor to here. Then you can press options on it and go to generate thumbnail. Boom. Now, whatever you put in here and you generate a thumbnail, anywhere on your timeline, it literally could be. But if you edit right here and go to generate thumbnail, this will be your thumbnail for YouTube. And then you can delete this. So let's go back and delete. All right, now I can go ahead and just render this by pressing triangle. And it's not that big, so it won't take that long. But that is going to be my new thumbnail for the video clip. So it takes a little bit more time because you do have to render it, which kind of sucks. But it definitely will work. Then we can share it to YouTube. But if I hold down the share button now, you can see says make thumbnail on the 22 second video I just made. So let's back out. Let's go to save project back out. So if I go to the uh, photo editor here, here's my last project. So you can just come in here and you go to edit video. You can, you know, choose the color of the font. You can pan and zoom the video. Uh, you can add vintage. You can add a filter to make it a little bit more saturation. Uh, you can, uh, you can add text to this too by going to uh, edit overlay right here or add overlay. And you can add stickers to it if you really want to. So we got some stickers in here. Or if you have uh, some uh, images on a USB stick, you can add those images in here too. So you got all these different stickers as an option to mess around with. But yeah, just uh, save the video or photo under here. Add it to your share factory timeline, generate the thumbnail, and then when you upload it to YouTube, whatever you have for generate thumbnail will be your thumbnail for YouTube. So if I go over this and go to uh, share now, you can see under YouTube, it's going to be my thumbnail. So that's two different ways that you can uh, generate and edit a thumbnail or a cover image for YouTube. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out, did. Leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.